Hi there, uh, this is a video about a new cement mixer that I just got. Uh, it's a Proforce 5 cubic feet, as you see here. Um, so basically they managed to put all the uh, assembly parts in the uh, cement mixer. I actually just made uh, this piece, just assembled it, it's very simple. It's just this piece here and then you get this piece here and you just have two screws uh, that you need to screw and then these two tires it's very simple you just have a pin here and I just hit it with a hammer here you know I just place it on top hit it in the hammer and uh, that's how I got this part now the other part is the engine and this little piece here that needs to be mounted over there and you know everything is explained in the catalog I'm sorry the manual but uh, thought to, that I make a video okay and uh, let's see how we put the engine all right so the engine or the motor that you see here uh, it came already assembled in this frame I didn't do anything here it came just one single part and okay so I need to mount it there now the key thing to remember or the most important element here is this side of the where the engine is this engine should be on this side right looking on this side don't put this element here mounted reverse where the engine is here so you want the engine to be there now there is a part here that they provide and you see here like a pole that's where we're gonna come down over there I'm gonna slide it over there so uh, I'm gonna do that right now and as you see here there is this pipe here right now make sure the direction of this piece is this way okay don't do it this way okay don't mount it this way see those holes that they're gonna be aligned okay that's how you do it, this way so I'm gonna do that just right now bear with me a second all right so this piece here which they call the swivel bracket just this piece here okay so you see those two holes one from this guy and one from this guy I'm just gonna uh, use this tool that they provide and you just slide it here and they provide you also this pin which as you see here there is a hole there I'm just gonna secure this piece using that pin that they just that I just showed you All right so I'm just gonna do that right now this is so easy you can use it just one with one hand Okay, one hand and one foot. All right, so let me do this. Okay, if it's too tight, if it's too difficult to, I use a hammer. Okay. all right that's done so as you see the whole frame with the engine is mounted and I use this piece here to secure it with this guy this this guy here sorry this guy here and I have this pin that I just showed you before so I'm almost more than halfway that easy now 
next part is the drum and before I place the drum there is a uh, bolt here right that I just placed there sorry there's a bolt there and I just secure this piece with this by tightening the bolt okay all right next step is to install the drum you get the picture where the drum is gonna go right here okay now there is one little thing to notice here you see this this piece here right it's coming out that's gonna need to fit here right you see this notch they call it guide notch when you lift the drum you need to slide this guy here with this I mean that piece will be looking like this once I install it once I install the drum right so that's gonna that's what I'm gonna do next and once I have the drum place it here then I'm gonna take this part here and this is after I, I place the drum this is gonna go here but before that I'm gonna lube this T-bolt what they call right so that's what I'm gonna do next all right all right so if you remember this is where the drum got inserted into this piece now I just need to use this t-bolt I place it here and I actually already looped it and I tighten it it's gonna be really quick here there's one thing they provide that is really nice to tighten it really well is this pipe they call it pipe wrench right it's just round this way here and then I'm gonna insert this guy here and I'm gonna tighten right? all right so I'm just gonna tighten it Okay, so I have been working with the uh, cement mixer for a while now uh, there are two things I forgot to mention the first one is the handle uh, it's very simple like everything else um, so you just slide it through this hole and then keep going and you just put it over here there is a cut of the pipe here so you just slide it okay hope you see that okay there's a hole there and there is a hole here as well as well so you just insert this pin and that secures the handle right and same thing goes for the other one okay that's the handle the second one is this piece actually there are two pieces this one here and this one here well it's very simple you have a hole here right so you just align the hole on this piece and then you just insert this screw and and that's it you just tighten it hope you can see that same thing here S there are two screws for each one okay and that's it so I have been doing some work for a while now and uh, what I realize is you can have 
three bags of concrete mix and the drum that's about 60 pound well it's actually 60 pounds per bag so that comes to 60 times 3 180 pounds all right so I have already put three bags of concrete mix and uh, let's see how it works as you see here I don't have much space left let me turn off the uh, concrete mix okay so uh, that's how much space I have left right maybe about four inches no nah, not even four inches maybe three inches um, I think you can add half a bag more so three and a half maybe but you, I don't think you can go I'm pretty much sure you can go beyond three and a half otherwise the uh, uh, cement will be spilling all over the places so I like to stop at three bags um, so let's start it again but uh, let me just say this is really a great concrete mixer I really liked it and I recommend it for anybody who wants to use it for his uh, DIY work a uh, small project it's kind of a big project that I have but so far I didn't I didn't see any problem with the with the concrete mixer <laughs> So I hope you liked my video and uh, hope you have a great day or great night. Thank you very much.